Hi and welcome to No Second Season. I've been out on the trails quite a bit lately, just up Nail Can Hill. I haven't bothered publishing any videos because going by the views, no one's interested in them. So I won't bother publishing. I just thought I'd do a quick one today to show you the chest protector I've got. This, this is it. It's hard shelled, but it's feather light in weight, very, very light. Uh, it's a Troy Lee Designs Rock Fighter. This is the extra small, small size and they also do a medium large. It's quite adaptable. There's adjustment at the sides. So it just clips on each side and slips over your head. I've got a hat on, I can't take it off at the moment. Um, I did have a problem where it kept riding up. I think because it was riding up because um, of my lady bumps so I sort of bent it a little bit there and now it seems fine the first time I wore it I went straight over the handlebars landed on my chest and my GoPro didn't injure me at all so I was so pleased that I had it on uh, a good bit of kit it costs around I think $150 Australian dollars um, but well worth it and uh, it doesn't pose a problem when you're wearing it at all. You just don't know it's there. And the protection it gives you, not just on the front, but also at the back. It would be nice if it extended a bit further down, front and back. Um, alas, it doesn't, but uh, I'm glad I've got it. So good bit of kit, well worth the money, and um, save you some pain. The other protection I wear, I've got these G-form elbow pads. I wear very cheap wrist straps, and I've got some very tatty knee pads. I do need some new knee pads but I'm going to keep wearing them till I can afford some G-form ones. So make sure you wear your protection when you're out there and uh, I'll close this video here. Uh, so from me, bye for now.